I put a bit of tape on this one as well. Now, the one I'm doing now is really to show you how far you can push it. Okay? And, and this has got nothing to do with copying um, at all. It's to do with uh, shapes and, uh, and it may end up a pig here and it may end up something nice but you never know and um, if painting was easy no one would want to do it really when you think of it and it's, uh, um, so with this one I'm gonna I'm really gonna wet all over just to get it started now, by, by wetting it all, all over, it's going to expand um, evenly and, uh, and also it's going to stop me from putting any hard edges in. So, um, there we are. I think we've got... I think we've got this, you can see on the screen it's, it's looking pretty wet. Um, you missed a bit apparently. Where? I don't know. On the right. On the right. On the right. On the left. On the left. That's it. You've done it there. Keep the crowd happy. Now, what, one of the things that is um, not very well known in this country is that you are allowed to use bristle brushes for water. Now, I'd like to find the name of this guy that keeps going around saying you're not allowed to do it. Because I can tell you this, bristle brushes are one of the finest brushes you could ever get for watercolor. Um, the oil painters use them to gradate the color. They put the color on and then they work it all in and it gradates beautifully. Um, and you can do the same with, uh, with watercolor. Because the hairs are split-ended and it has a scrubbing action, which uh, it would not damage the paper at all. And, and, but it will allow the, you just spread the pigment. And if you've got a blotchy old sky, get your old bristle brush and you soon put that in. And um, so, um, we'll, um, <coughs> now that's not strong. So we, we, sorry, we want a little bit more um, paint than that. Get some more out. Some, uh, the uh, the cam the camera uh, and the uh, video sender are actually putting a little bit more red in. I actually asked the technician to put more red in because it was it was missing red. But what it's done, it's turned that. Uh, it's turned that Windsor blue into ultramarine blue, as you can see. So it's nothing you can do about yeah. it. It gets better towards when there's more colour on there. It'll start looking more, uh, you know. Just put a bit more of these blues on a minute. Um, Cold water. Yeah. Cold water. See, that's the size of cobalt blue I use. Um, I get them from the states, and um, unfortunately, with this exchange rate, they've got more expensive, but they're still a hell of a sight cheaper than buying in this country. I mean, it used to be, um, well, it's $13 for that size, so this artist quality, and it's, uh, it, it makes you wonder why they charge so much for paint in this country. The only, I think the only reason they charge so much is because uh, people will pay it, because there's no alternative. But I, I, I usually send to the States for about uh, um, hundred quid worth at a time, you know, and, it's, uh, and then I'm not afraid to use the stuff, you see. Put tons of it down. And, um, right, so, let's put, you see, now what this brush will do, it will allow you to put some really strong painting, much stronger than, than a, a nylon would do, you see. I'm just putting um, paint down. Oh, look at the big blob of it there. Get on it down. <laughs> See, it's, uh, 
Look at that. See, no, you, you could never put on that power with, with a... Um, with a... Um, with a nylon or a sable or a squirrel, you know, it's... Um, Perhaps you put some. Um, well, this is um, gamboge, and I'll put some of that in. You see, you can gradate it because of this scrubbing action. See, and you, there's no other brush will do this, and. Um, and there's no saying, if you see it there, you'll see it here. <laughs> oh, you know that. Do -do 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 -do. And there. I got a colour here called Passionate Purple. Oh. It's, all, it's, it's called that on the tube, you know. It's, a, it's a, again an American colour. And it's, um, yeah, I think. They call it fire indigo violet in this country. And, um, maybe I'll, I'll put that into there, you see. I'll gradate the two together. And maybe I'll use some um, permanent rose. Look at this. Here. I mean, I know it looks a bit of a mess at the moment. Perhaps a bit of cadmium scarlet in here. Or Put a bit of that into there. And perhaps some cobalt blue. What I'm trying to show you is not to be afraid of it because, I mean, at the end of the day, what's the worst thing that could happen? You've lost a piece of paper and a bit of pants. Uh, I mean, it is, it is not a life threatening situation. Okay? And, uh, how about a bit of uh, orange? And yellow, possibly. Yeah. At least we've got it covered now. Now, see, when you've got the thing wet like that, and you, and you say, "Well, okay, I didn't want to do that," then uh, then you can always get rid of it by getting some clean water, you see, and just keep washing like that, right? Because it's only coloured dust, right? And while it's as long as it doesn't dry, okay, you can you can. Wash it down, see, and you can get rid of it. So it's uh, nothing forever. You can see that there's a, some rough edges up here, so maybe I need to just scrub those in. See, you work it like you. Paint the wall of the house, okay? And, uh, and you'll find it so. Uh, now, what can we do with that? South Pacific. Huh? It's like South Pacific to me. Yeah. We could. Um, 